you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Cunny Corso. So I'm out here with the chickens and um, I've got my two little bulldogs out here. Um, <clears throat> where are they at? There you are, here's Daisy. Daisy! Um, oh, what are you two doing out here? Who let you out? Who let you out, Blondie? Comes in uninvited, hello. Hello. Oh, and you too, Velocity. Where'd you come from? Did you guys open the gate? I wonder. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter, but... But there we go. Don't you touch my baby, Velocity. Oh, look at Tommy Boy come in. Look at that. Did you see how he got in the way? And he created separation. She's like, no, she's like me. She's little. Yes, good boy, Tommy. Good boy, good man. Good man, Tommy. Good man. Good man. He's such a good dog. These are such awesome dogs, man. I can't tell you how much I love them. <clears throat> so there's my newest one. That's Daisy. A much better top line than he's got. Although I will tell you his lines, his siblings have great top lines. It's just him um, that doesn't have the best top line that I've seen. It's just Roach. But that's like common in Bulldogs, so... You know, it is what it is. And he's still young. I think he's only like nine months old. So it it wasn't as bad when he was younger. I do think that it will simmer down a bit. Um, but um, but I like him. For what we're doing, I like him. And his bloodlines, like I said, they've got... There were some really good top lines in there. So the genetics are there. I, I, preacher, you get your butt back up here right now. Move. Blondie, now. Come on. Right, hustle. Let's go. Come on out of there now, hurry. Good girl, Blondie. Good girl, Blondie. Good girl, Blondie lady. Just for reference, Preacher Man is officially eight years old. Turned eight years old last month. And, um, oh, I guess that makes Blondie six. Still going strong. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. So you can see the size on these bullies, um, these ones that I'm working with. These are these are technically called pocket. Um, these are not the extreme ones. They call them like exotics or micros, nothing like that. Um, you can see how submissive he's being. What a sweet man he is. Sweet man. And um, Daisy's a little bit drivier, but I would expect that out of a female. She's still good, though. She's respectful. Um, she listens whenever I get on to her. And uh, Velocity, you are utterly disgusting right now. That is just 100% filthy. So crazy story. These are all of my retirees. Hey, 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 Velocity. Oh, look at her. She went down in submissive posture and stayed. See, there you go. See, that's good. See, that means there's a brain in there and it's working. It's working. <clears throat> Did you get in trouble? Did you get in trouble? Yes, you did, Daisy. You got in trouble. No, I'm not going to pinch you after what you did. Mm -mm. So, and you can also see, just for size reference, come here. Hey, Tommy, come here. You see how big he is compared to the chickens. Tommy boy. Good boy, Tommy. Good boy, Tommy. Don't, Daisy, don't jump on me. Quit. I cut her nails, but I swear it's never enough. That's the only thing you do have to work with them on. They do, they do like to um, they do like to jump if you're not careful. They'll they'll jump all over you. As you can see, I went. I we're doing the crop on these guys, but we're not doing the bully crop that these that people are doing. We're actually doing a short, um, a very short, uh, not short. <laughs> I'm thinking of his body. I'm looking at his body. We're doing a um, a long show crop, and um, I really like it a lot. You know. So, but he's in his, he's in a little bit of a, um, of an ugly stage right now. He's only nine months old and, um, he's got a, he's getting taller on me right now, which is good because he's not, a, he's by no means a tall dog, but I do like, I like an adequate amount of leg on my dog. And, um, and so anyway, and he is a bulldog. It's important to remember this is not a Corso. So the same, the same structure rules do not apply. Um, so, although I will be my, myself aiming for more of a top line like Daisy has, a, uh, Annie also has a better top line. 
Um, and I've seen his litter mates, and they all had really good top lines, so I'm not really worried about it um, with him. I think that he'll throw. What I do like about him is that he's the smallest um, in his um, in his litter, and I do like that. Look at you having fun, Blondie. Yeah, these are all of my... Oh, my God. Look at Preacher. Look at that dog. Jeez Louise. Completely and utterly covered. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. It's such a beautiful day, you guys. I can't even, like, really explain to you how... Ah, uh -uh, don't bite me, punk. When they do that to me, I like to grab them. <laughs> Teach them a lesson. I don't hurt them, I just grab them. Like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna take them away. And they'll never see their families again. And then they're like, no. Don't you don't you crow at me, punk. I'll get you too. <clears throat> Look at these bad boys. I hatched all these guys out last year. Really pretty birds. Really, I hatched out all of these. These are all remnants of last year, what's left. <sighs> what's up, preacher man? He does what a preacher man can. Watch out now. Watch out now. Watch out now. Hold on now. I'm trying to get to where I can see him. What's up, Velocity? Preacher man. Don't you get away from my feet. I'm going to get you. I will get you, punk. Stay away from my feet. Good boy, Tommy boy. You watch him. That's right, punk. I'm going to get you. you. better watch out. Don't you try to go for my feet. They will go for your feet. you got to watch out. Can't have toes out. I got my working Crocs on. I'll tell you what. I love Crocs. I don't care what anybody says. As a dog breeder, they are so functional. The dogs have a hard time chewing up the material, so even if they do get a hold of them, you got time. <laughs> and, um... So you got time once they uh, once they do get a hold of them, and then uh, you just wash them off, no matter what's going on. And I have some that are boots, and oh my god, they're fantastic! Absolutely fantastic, the boots are. So y'all better scoot your boots. So these are my breeding pens right now. Look at that guy. That guy's really pretty too. So all of these ones here are the same as this big guy right here. He's a, a Millie Fleur Brahma rooster. And you can see all of his pretty ladies. We'll go inside so you can actually see them. So these are them. Really pretty girls. Really pretty ladies. Some of these are not exactly that. Like this here, this is a Isabella hen. But I'm, I'm wanting to do porcelain Millie Fleur, which are lavender millie fleurs in order to be able to do that i've got to introduce lavender and millie fleurs use porcelain or they use they use the partridge gene which is the pattern that they have and they also use modeled um and lacing and so if i put these hens to him and then put them together then i should get i put the siblings together then i should get um, some porcelain millie flares or be on my way to it and then these are all three of these are blue partridge hens um, same thing as this just a different genetic affecting the color and um, these are going to be so I can do blue millie flares which are really pretty the blue gene does some really cool stuff to the red um, on the on the these birds on the patterning of these birds so very very pretty birds very pretty birds this one i think is spangled actually but still very pretty very pretty bird and this guy like i don't even you can't even tell he is 
He is a giant of a bird. Huge bird. Just a huge bird. Stunning. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna leave him be. I gotta get them some water. That's what I'm out here doing is just finishing up. Go. I got I got new um, bedding. I learned about hemp bedding, which is like so much better for chickens apparently. So I'm, I'm switching. Um, I've been like cleaning these things out and putting in the hemp bedding. <clears throat> and then I put up these kind of perch things in there now. And then the blue thing is like a sand bath over there. I've really kind of, I've really come a long way um, with my chickens. And then, um, these guys are so cute. Cutie patini, yeah, yes you are. Daisy, Daisy May, Daisy May, sweet Daisy May, boo boo boo, boo boo boo, Daisy boo. Tell me babe, tell me babe. Tell me, babe. That's his song. He's like Velocity. He gets a song. Okay. <clears throat> this is the remnants of me cleaning. I'm not done yet, but I was trying to get as much done as I could in the daylight. So this project over here, watch out, buddy. These guys, psh, get back, lady. Um, these guys, these are like my blues. So this is a blue hen. This is a, a buff, a buff hen. A dark partridge hen or a dark hen, two partridge hens, regular partridge, another buff hen, and then a, bl um, a uh, blue shouldered orange rooster, a splash rooster, blue splash, and then another dark. So all of these will do different things. The, the, the idea with the buffs is I want blue buffs. Um, the deal with the partridges is I want more blue partridges. With the darks, I will get... Um, uh, blue shouldered oranges, I believe, um, or like blue darks. I don't know. They're, they're more difficult for me to really explain very well. And then other than that, um, yeah, that's it on that, on that group. And then I've got more that I need to put away because I've got, um, I've got other stuff I'm going to do, but for now, I get out of it. You should have learned your lesson. You pooped all last night. No, absolutely not. No, ma'am. No, that was bad. Get. Daisy. Get. So that's another thing I like about them is they really take discipline very well and they do listen. Um, a lot of these smaller dogs, like bulldogs, they just don't listen. Um, they're so like impulsive and just like this like kinetic energy that they can't calm down enough to listen to you and these dogs can think these dogs don't have that they're capable of thinking and reasoning they're really great anyway well i've got work to do and i know most of y'all don't care about chickens so there's our livestock guardian doing his job he's really good He's really good at his job. He don't kill chickens. He's not ever killed one. He's tried to play with them on occasion, um, but he's done really good. And, um, oh, look, here we go. We got a battle. Every now and then we have a battle royale. You know, the thing about chickens that's wild is a lot of people act like roosters will just fight to the death, but they really don't. There's there's very much a hierarchy that, be, that gets established. And... Um, and you'll have like other, like, see how those guys were trying to fight, but then these other pig, these big two guys came in. And so they're making sure these other guys don't fight, but simultaneously they're kind of looking each other over because they're like, well, hold on there. So you see, see here. So now there's a little bit of a, and there's a lot of this nonverbal posture. See there, see there, see that posturing there. And so you see this guy coming up he's like, move it along, move it along guys. And, um, it's very interesting to me. I love analyzing animal behavior and just watching them in and just in the quiet and just like observing and learning and see there you go boom 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 see posturing other guy gives way moves away there's only ever fighting if you have two big males that refuse to back down that's the only time when you're going to run into issues and um and even then it rarely gets out of control i will say twice I've broken up fights, but only because I wanted to. I don't think that they would have killed each other. 
Um, I very much just got tired of watching it. You know what I mean? Like one of them just needed to give up and he wasn't willing to do it. And, um, and so I'll just toss one over the fence. That's all I do. It's really not much. I don't do, you know what I mean? I just toss them over the fence. Gives, gives them a little break. Um, like this guy here, he was in a battle. This guy here, they battled forever. This is the, this is the two. I'll show you the back of his head. Cause what they do, try to do is they try to pin him. So you can see all that hair missing on the back of his neck. That's from a fight that he got into where he just would not submit. And he's fine. Dude is totally fine. So um, sometimes you just got to let them work things out and do their thing. But overall, um, I have not really found them to, um, to be the kinds of birds that aren't capable of of like stopping, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure that there are, that there are breeds that are bred to where they, um, to where they will fight to the death. You know what I mean? Certain types of game birds and stuff, but these guys are not, they're not that. So anyway, but like I said, I'm gonna let y'all go. I got a lot of work to do today. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cute. at her she is too much she really thinks she's tough stuff look at that tail straight up tail straight up she's like i'm a dominant lady around here oh <laughs> daisy what you doing girl come on oh preacher's gonna pee on it she says this is mine i don't care who you are daisy Good girl, Daisy. Daisy. She's a good dog, man. She's a real good dog. I think Daisy's like 12 weeks old. She's she's just still a little baby, so she's got a lot of growing to do. I hate that that, that that's a really nice rooster that I like, and he's limping. I was hoping it would get better. It does look to be getting a, a little bit better, but not a whole lot better. I think he, I think he hurt himself um, fighting. What you doing, preacher? So anyway, but this is how it goes around here, man. I literally just pull the truck up, I put my music on, and I just work, and I just love it. But sometimes it can be hard to take the time to do a video for you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been like, it's hard because it's been so peaceful and quiet lately. And, um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm naturally, um, a person that enjoys my solitude and not solitude. I like, I just prefer the company of animals, I suppose. And, um, and anyway, um, Sometimes it can be hard to take a break to do a video and it, there's like complications there. You know what I mean? There's just a lot of, I would almost say it just noise sometimes. And sometimes it can be hard for me to just take the time to do it. But, um, anyway, but yeah, but I, I wanted to make sure I did the, I, I took the time today. So anyway, hope y'all having a good day. Hope you're enjoying the weather. If you've got good weather, I'll talk to you later. Bye.